Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day and a fantastic week. I just want to say I appreciate the support on the channel. Thank you for coming back and watching another video. So we have quite a few snakes to feed. I'm not going to feed all of the ball pythons, but I'm going to feed at least 10. And then I'm going to feed the smaller green anaconda Mountain Dew. Uh, so ever since I've had the ones that I'm feeding the ball pythons uh, since they were babies, I mean, they're still very young. They're all 2021s and some are 2020, uh, 2020s. But um, they've all been on live. So now that they're getting bigger, the meal size is getting bigger and the rats can do some damage. Um, you can safely feed them live, but I have so many of them, it would take me like two hours just to feed them live. So I've been trying to get them on dead rats. So I have a plate full of dead rats right here. This one's gonna go to uh, the green anaconda. And then the rest of these all will go to the ball pythons, hopefully. Hopefully we can get 10 out of 10. I normally get 10 out of 10 easily on live, but we'll see what happens. I know ball pythons can be super stubborn and we'll continue this journey together. So, uh, Pop-Tart, her cage. It's gonna be filled with molts here very soon. I took her water out because she's still going to the bathroom consistently. And you see this wire right here. So I do have a radiant heat panel. Um, I do believe this is the newer style of the radiant heat panels. I've seen some people complain about them online because the power cord plugs into the back and you can easily unplug it. So Pop-Tart likes to wrap around the cord and unplug it, which is perfectly fine with me because um, when the temperatures go up and down on a thermostat, the thermostat will, it has an alarm to let you know that there's something wrong with the set temperature. Uh, and so once the alarm goes off, you come in here and, and you see what's going on. A lot of people are upset because they don't hear the alarms, they don't set the alarms, and then the heat element is not on. So what a lot of people are mad about is, is that it's easily disconnectable. A lot of people want the power cord um, like hardwired into the actual component, which I would have a problem with that because, you know, with a heavy bodied animal looping itself around and resting itself on a cable, you're going to fray or bend those wires and you could potentially have a short or a fire or electrical issue where it could rub and, and shock your snake. So I'm very glad that these, um, once I got off Reptile Basics, uh, that's the 80 watt, um, I think they're the Vivarium um, electronics. And so no issues with the snakes when they go up there and, and they um, um, unplug it. So anyways, just let you guys know about that. Um, so that's just one thing that Pop-Tart does consistently among the many other things that annoys me. Like, I, she knows what pushes my buttons. <laughs> She's like, she just is aggravating. Um, so let's get to feeding some of these. I think we'll start off with the ones down here. So, um, yeah. So this is a male mahogany pied. Looking absolutely amazing. And we'll move this whole tote down here. So I have this big tote. It's mainly to take the big boas out in the anaconda. Uh, when I clean their cages, they stay in here. And when she gets to be 12 feet and I need a permit, I have to have one of these for her. Um, but that's, I'll talk about that when I actually need a permit, which will probably be at the end of this year or next year. So, okay. Try not to make this video forever. So, sorry about all the rambling. Dead rat and ball python. How many do you guys think is gonna be 10 out of 10? I'm thinking there's gonna be at least two that won't eat. And if they don't eat, then I'll probably just leave these in here. Uh, overnight, oh, there we go, there we go. Shake it around a little bit, make sure it's act like it's alive at least. So, we are good. 
first one. And then we'll just leave that like that. So I do have two Mystic uh, Potions. One is a male, one is a female. This is the male. So we'll go ahead and give this one a nice little treat. I don't know if these will... All right, two for two. Perfect. Now, I have heard ball pythons have, do wrap their meals and sometimes they do not. They don't eat them after they wrap them. So the Orange Dream Enchi Leopard Pied is wanting to escape before he eats. And he's pretty small. So we'll do this right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. We probably should not be feeding him like this. There we go. Wow, look at that. This dude looks really cool. Bright orange. I'm sure that will fade out as he gets older, unfortunately. So we're looking good. We're looking really strong on the... Uh... Oh, here, look at this. Little Pop-Tart wants to come out. So... If you've been watching the channel, you know, okay, so this is kind of like a, uh, this might be a longer video than it necessarily needs to be. So Pop-Tart loves to go behind this cage right here. So it's a nine, pretty much a nine foot, and then it's three feet deep. So there's about this much between, you can, well, you can't really see it because of the curtains. So there's like this much room behind, or space between the end of the cage and the wall just for the cords and stuff. And so the second I open this up, either end, whoop, all the way back, straight back and she goes in the back. And I hate when she goes back there because it is very difficult to get her out. And she'll sit back there forever. And she wants to throw a fit and try to fight me when I actually want to get her out. So we have a fire and she uh, clown as a female. Very excited for her. And We'll see if she eats. So she's, you know, she's been loving, well, there we go, awesome. She's been loving the lives. So this is this is kind of impressive <laughs> that we're getting all these ball pythons to eat. Uh, frozen thaw, like, I'm feeling good right now about the rest of them. So this is a female, Mystic Potion. And I don't like when they come out like that. We got some good sized ones in here, so we'll give this one to her. Maybe she'll eat. Oh, will she eat? Oh, oh she struck. Oh, oh, one more, one more. Oh, this is a horrible one I'm probably gonna get. All right, well, you're gonna go in here. We're gonna try to get you in here, I'm going to try to get you to eat. So, sometimes I've noticed if they strike more than a couple times and they, there we go, perfect. Then they kind of lose interest on the meals. And then I do need to get paper and better or more stuff in there on some of these snakes. I've been cleaning, spot cleaning and stuff like that. Who else needs to eat? The Superfly Clown. This girl is gorgeous and I would take my hand and pull her this way, but she'd probably bite me. So we're going to feed... That's a very large meal. <laughs> that is a weaned. That's definitely a weaned right there. We'll see what happens. She's probably hungry. Is she going to eat? Oh, we're going to eat. Maybe we're gonna act like we're alive a little bit. Counter, oh, oh, there we go, perfect. She just got the tail of it, nice. Yeah, that is a big meal. I kind of feel, I feel a little bad because that's a, that's a very large meal. All right, so she's kind of half in, half out. This is the uh, Fire Entry Yellow Belly Pie female. Beautiful snake. She's a 2021. Most of all of these that I'm all of these that I have fed so far are 2021. And we'll see if she wants to eat. So 
There's a little interesting one on paper on how slippery it is, but they sit out very well. Um, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to see her very well. See, I don't know if she's actually gonna eat um, a dead one. She she's been doing well on the lives, so I don't I don't know. I, mean, I can barely see in here. I'm on my tippy toes, so. <laughs> Hopefully the camera's doing all right. Oh, perfect, there we go, there we go. And then up here, like I'm almost six feet uh, tall and I definitely need a step stool to see in here. And I, you know, I'm, I'm right at eye level looking in here on, on some of these snakes, so. Perfect, 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 perfect. So far, we are doing very well. All right, so let's move on to, how many do I have left? Three. So I'll feed these three. Um, I do have more that do need to eat. So some of these do have hides, or some of them I took the hides out. Some of these, well, she's ready to go. All right, let's feed her real quick. So the lighting's not the greatest, but this is a pastel pied female. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was my fault. So we'll set that there. Let me turn this off real quick and get a get a better light over here. Alright, we got the lighting situation just a little bit better. <laughs> whoa. You strike worse than some of the boas. There we go. Very, very, very low whites on her. And then we got a black pastel pied down here. I'm just gonna take both of these so we don't have to just keep going back and forth on that. And will it eat? Oh yeah, perfect. We are we only got one more. One more baby. And we've hit 10 out of 10. So this is oh, oops. So this is an ivory enchi pied female. That's a female. That's a female. So it's a super yellow belly and she, I would love to get another one of these as a male and try to hit a ivory super and she, but it's really cool because this has black eyes. Well, I watched this one be, whoa, okay, okay. A little aggressive. Come on, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, will she do it? She will if she can. There it is, perfect, dialed in. Awesome, all right. Mountain Dew, let's see if you will finish off strong. Highly recommend these Christmas tree totes. I unfortunately could not find any this year. I'm guessing limited supplies, but I did see the advertisements for them and they looked extremely high quality. They had red lids and the red lids on them looked very durable, really nice latches that I saw. I don't know the dimensions. These, they're wider at the top than on the bottom. It'd be nice if they actually make some wider all the way around. So, Mountain Dew. What will you eat? It's a little dark over here. But it's okay, you guys get the gist. There it is, strong. And that's a big wrap. So she definitely needs to be eating uh, bigger meals. I'll set Pop-Tarts cage up soon. Um, everybody that owns anacondas, berms, retics, when they get over a certain weight uh, or size, normally it's like the six, seven foot mark it seems everybody goes to the construction paper. It does make it easier to clean um, because once they start getting like really big, they have huge bowel movements. Uh, I don't know if anacondas really have massive urine, but I do know retics pee like gallons at a time. So it's just easier for them to uh, clean up with the paper and stuff like that. But we'll see, it works for I've never owned big snakes before. It's all new to me. 
I appreciate you guys coming along this adventure with me. I'm super excited that 10 out of 10 on ball pythons. That's crazy. And I have like maybe like four or five other ones that do need to eat. I just didn't want to. I didn't know how this was going to go. I didn't know they were all going to eat dead. So I thought it was going to take like more time per snake to coax it around and dance around a rat. But um, they're all still kind of wrapped up. Maybe I'll put in a shot or two of them eating. Uh, but it does take the ball pythons just a little bit of time to, to start. So we'll see. Yeah, none of these have even, even that mahogany hasn't even started yet. So, guys, I really appreciate the support on the channel. Um, if you guys want to subscribe, like the video, that would mean a lot to me. Um, hopefully you guys have an awesome rest of the week. I'll see you guys on the next video.